what's up YouTube you checking out the frequent flyer and I'm pretty sure you guys have read the title of this video this here is my King Kong 110 GT and this is a really awesome quadcopter it's actually my favorite micro brushless quadcopter to fly right now this thing is awesome it outpowers all of the little micro quadcopters in its class I believe the punch out is insane it flies on 2s and 3s I did do a modification to mines here I added this XT30 connection and a big problem with this model is it just has too much power to not be flying around with the buzzer and this thing does not come with a buzzer and it doesn't come with OSD you can hook up OSD to it but as far as a buzzer you can do a trick to add a lost model alarm with the buzzer but there's no VBAT on here, so you can't really use it as an LVC warning. That's where this comes in at. So I bought this thing, this little setup here, off of Amazon for about 7 bucks, And it comes with two parts here. Now, this, is, this gives you a reading on your battery. It's a tester, a LiPo tester. And this one uh, basically shows you... The same thing, but this one is audible. This one has audible warnings, and this one doesn't. It has visual. So let's check it. Check this battery here. One of these awesome beta FPV 450 milliamp hour batteries. So here on the tester, it'll tell you two cells. Give you the total voltage, 7.2. And it'll tell you the voltage for each cell. I don't know if this is translating on the camera well. Well, let me bring it back. Maybe you can see it better. There it is. So it's telling you the cell voltage, individual cells, and in all of them. It's at 7.25. Now, this part here, it just gives you audible alerts. So, it's going to be pretty loud though. So, it does that when you first plug it in. But then, I don't know if you guys can see that. These two green lights here are lit up. It shows you in the form of lights um, how many cells you have. So, two lights are lit up. Two green lights to let you know that you're testing a two cell. And it doesn't have any readout of... The battery voltage now the thing with this is it's automatically programmed to alarm when the battery voltage well when a cell voltage goes below three volts so that's pretty awesome well, one of my batteries are done my 3s battery we're gonna be flying the fly egg with 3s today hopefully if all goes well but anyhow so this tester here shows you an indication via two lights there that this is a two cell battery if it was three cells then three of them will light up and when this battery goes below three volts this thing will beep and it's really light so check it out what I was going to do is add a piece of double sided mounting tape to this and I'm just going to mount it on the top of the canopy here this way just press this over a little and it's going to be right here and so that way when I mount this battery here I'm just going to run the power lead up there well the balancing lead is going to run up there and I have tried it and it does work well but I didn't really use the double sided mounting tape to secure it on here but it does work everything works out so we're going to go out and test it. We're going to put it right about here at the top. There. Just going to remove the other half. There. And this thing only weighs about 4 grams. This 110 probably won't even notice the extra weight of this thing it's only four grams and so let's check it now go 
Okay, so we out here with the same battery. So there it is. Make sure nothing's hitting. So nothing's touching. Plug in the battery. So the battery's plugged in. Let's check it out now. Let's do a quick punch out. You guys heard it. So it does make noise as soon as it goes below three. <laughs> and that battery's dead. <laughs> and so it works. Now I just need to lower my voltage cutoff point because I have it set at, I, I got my minimum voltage set at three. So I got the minimum voltage of this thing set at three volts. So at three volts, this thing just falls. So I'm gonna put it uh, kind of low, maybe at, maybe I'll have to put the minimum voltage at about 2.8 and then that'll give me enough time to bring it back because this lipo tester here it can't be changed from three volts so it it only alarms at exactly three volts so i have to just set that in beta flight the minimum voltage and that's it a way to add a buzzer to your 110 gt from king kong or I imagine this will work with the 90 GT or the 95 GT. Thanks for watching.